apartheid, where every life matters if you're of the correct ethnic religious category. And our military is working overtime defending your apartheid with a simple and effective strategy. If we kill their families, that will frighten them. We've killed an average of two of their children every week for more than 10 years. We've killed more than 1,500 of their children since the year 2000. Why, just recently on May 15th, we shot down two of their teenagers in the West Bank on video. And when they responded by killing three of us, we killed a bunch more of them, including one burned alive, and arrested hundreds and demolished homes and beat up their children on video. When they retaliated with some rockets from Gaza, that gave us the reason we were looking for to launch Operation Protective Edge and give them a really close shave. But we don't need a reason. We don't wait for them to attack. We've been launching airstrikes in Gaza since April. We're proactive, and we don't let ceasefires get in our way because truces are for them, not for us. We're not just protecting apartheid. We're building community, bringing people together to express their shared values and providing free entertainment along the way. With our high precision instruments, we can even target boys playing on a beach or people watching the World Cup in a cafe. This is not a war. In a war, we might get hurt. This is just a series of surgical assassinations with highly precise collateral damage. And no matter what we do, they started it by retaliating to our airstrikes with rocket fire. Remember, as the Israeli Defense Forces say, Israel left the Gaza Strip completely in the August 2005 disengagement. But they're being modest. We didn't leave Gaza. So we moved 8,000 Israeli settlers out while we moved 14,000 into the West Bank. But when we redeployed our soldiers to the borders of Gaza, we maintained our ongoing control of Gaza's borders, seacoast, airspace, water, electricity, imports, exports, and even their food calorie intake. In fact, under international law, Gaza is still occupied by us, ending the occupation of Gaza without ending the occupation of Gaza. If even a boat tries to break the siege or bring in humanitarian aid, we attack the boat and tell everyone it was full of terrorists with terrorist weapons. Weapons like metal sticks and pocket knives and uh, binoculars. We've made Gaza an open-air prison to keep your apartheid safe. And it works so well, we're thinking of a similar arrangement for the West Bank. As Bibi says, there cannot be a situation under any agreement in which we relinquish security control of the territory west of the River Jordan. Sure, they complain and resist sometimes, but managing apartheid means mowing the grass once in a while. And if we create what we call our map of pain, pretty soon it's business as usual. Killing families to protect your apartheid and getting away with it over and over and over and over again.